We use coins. Dot com. Superintendent? Yeah. Can I bounce a policy question off of you? Sure. What happens to a student in your school district if they record or try to video record uh, behavior that they don't like by one of your staffers? Well, we've never had that situation. Uh, we only allow the use of cell phones for academic purposes. Uh, so that would be a violation of that policy. But if in fact the student believes a faculty member has acted inappropriately, then we encourage them to report that to the appropriate administration and we'll take appropriate action. Why can't they report it to the public through the most honest medium possible, the cell phone? Well, uh, first of all, they, they verbally they can. Two, the idea is to protect uh, all the other students that are in the class also. I mean, if a student can't defend themselves with a video camera, what can they defend themselves with? They can defend themselves with their right to redress and speak to uh, a uh, administrator. But then they're relying on the government to police the government. Does that work? Yes, it does. All right. I appreciate you answering questions. I no didn't problem. give you much warning, and thank you for being a little transparent. No problem. All right. Take care. You too. Are you, is it Mr. Greenberg? Yep. Okay. I just I wasn't sure if I was getting you confused with Londonderry or not. I wasn't here for you. I was here for the executive council. There you go. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.